friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So that means that we're gonna talk about my week, my way in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I myself have lost and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, ask questions, or if you just need some additional support. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us there. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my way in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Friday friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty stellar week, a very busy, very active week, but a fantastic week overall. If you're in my Facebook group, which if you're not, come join us. We'd love to have you. It's free. It's supportive. I shared a big post about last weekend. Let me tell you about last weekend. It was the most active weekend I've had literally in my life. I did boot camp on Friday, played pickleball for two hours on Saturday. Then I went to my first ever Zumba class on Saturday. Zumba's not my thing. I did have a good time at the class. It was a really, really good workout, but it's not something that I see myself doing regularly. And I always say that whatever you do for activity, you have to enjoy it or you're not gonna stick with it. So for me, Zumba's probably not something I'll continue doing. However, pickleball is. I'm obsessed with pickleball. It is so, so much fun. I, I'm literally, I love it so much. And then Sunday, I hiked Tumamak Mountain with my friend, Lisa. So I was extremely, extremely active this last week. Weekend. And I paid for it a little bit. I paid for it a little bit. I was sore on Monday, sore on Tuesday. Luckily, Tuesday is my rest day, so I didn't do anything Tuesday. It's my filming and editing day. Speaking of Tuesday, little Miss Lola, right back there, sleeping on the dog bed, currently snoring, went back to her oncologist on Tuesday for blood work to make sure that she was still in remission, that everything looked really good, and she got a clean bill of health. They were so excited to see her there. They really, truly just love her at her oncology office. And I am just, my dog mom heart is so happy that she's doing well and that she continues to be healthy and happy, which is everything I could ask for. Every penny of the thousands and thousands of dollars for chemo has been well worth it if her quality of life is as fantastic as it is. And I just need my baby around as much as possible. She's my best friend in the whole world and I just want her to be happy and healthy. So we had a really good report from the oncologist. I played pickleball this week. I went to the gym. I went to boot camp. And then tomorrow I'm actually doing a 5K with my boot camp group in the pecan field. So we have quite a few pecan fields in my area. This is a big pecan growing area. So we're doing a 5k through the pecan field. So I'm really excited for that. Of course, I'll post pictures in my Facebook group and on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there. But overall, I had a really, really fantastic week. In Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, if you missed it, I'll link it down below for you. I talked about some changes that are not only happening here in my channel, kind of what I'm doing with Weight Watchers, but I also talked about how I'm changing up my food a little bit, how I'm going to be a little bit more whole food focused to so just help me reach my goals. I'm not gonna go into detail here because I went into detail in Wednesday's video. So like I said, if you missed it, I'll link it down below. Definitely check it out. But my food choices this week really helped propel me through all of this activity. And really I'm feeling really, really good. My body's feeling really good. My gut is feeling really good. My digestive health has improved and I'm definitely feeling more full and satisfied and I guess overall healthy with the changes that I've made. So I'm happy to make those changes. I'm happy to continue with those changes and see if they help me reach my goals. Another thing I've been really focusing on the last few weeks is my sleep quality. Because I've been so active and because I'm getting up pretty much every day at 4 a.m., I really need good quality sleep. I need to follow asleep. I need to stay asleep. And that's an area that I've struggled with almost all of my life. When I was extremely overweight, even at my healthiest, I still struggle with sleep. I can fall asleep, but I can't 
stay asleep. I'll wake up to use the bathroom, to use the restroom, or I'll just randomly wake up and then I lay there What for what feels like hours trying to fall back asleep until I started using Stelace. Now, a lot of you have asked me for an update on this. I've gotten several comments here on YouTube. Do you still use it? What do you think of it after using it for months and months? I love this. This has changed my life in so many ways. This helps me fall asleep, stay asleep, and I wake up more refreshed than ever. If I don't take this, I don't wake up nearly as refreshed and ready for the day as when I take this. This, like I said, has changed my life, has been a big, big game changer in sleep. And I talk a lot about sleep, especially on my nutrition channel. Sleep can really make it so you don't lose any weight. Sleep can make it so you choose the wrong foods. Sleep is a requirement for a healthy body and for weight loss. Solace has bioactive herbs and minerals that engage you in a sustainable sleep cycle. It's vegan and it has nice clean ingredients so it aligns really well with my desire to really put good things in my body. Some of the main things about Solace is it has valerian root and hops. Studies actually indicate that this combined with the usage of valerian and hops flowers accounted for about a 50% decrease in the number of nighttime awakenings in participants. It also contains melatonin and we know how important melatonin is for sleep. I appreciate it's all natural ingredients. It's nice clean ingredients. I take two capsules about 45 minutes before I go to bed. So when I'm kind of winding down for the night and then I sleep like a baby. Uh, if I do wake up in the night, I go right back to sleep. And like I said, I wake up more refreshed than I ever have in my entire life. That's what the capsules look like. This bottle is just about gone. So again, two of these about 45 minutes before I go to bed every single night. So yes, I still take Stelays. I love everything about Stelays. It's completely changed my life. So I will link it down below with the discount. And thank you guys for asking for an update. It reminds me to let you know what I'm still utilizing supplement wise and what has become a staple for me. So now let's jump into this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And this is the secret to making activity more interesting. I mean, this comes at a perfect time after trying out my first ever Zumba class and realizing that maybe just maybe that's not for me. But you know, I love boot camp. I love my pickleball. I love lifting weights. I love hiking. Those are activities for me that I enjoy. So those are activities that are sustainable. Have you ever looked at a piece of artwork or nature in general and thought, wow, that is absolutely extraordinary. You know that feeling of wonderment and amazement? We want that from our exercise, from our activity. Again, so we find joy in it so that we'll continue to do it. So we have some tips and tricks for weight from Weight Watchers on how to make our activity a little bit more exciting. Try this. Scout out a spot. Choose a place you haven't been before or paid much attention to in the past. Then unplug fully. Silence or turn off your phone so you can tune into your surroundings undisturbed. Then move mindfully. Notice your breathing, how you connect with the ground and the sights and sounds. And lastly, find inspiration. What around you feels energizing and intriguing? What color, shape, spaces, scents, or other details are you drawn to? I talk a lot about on my Instagram, especially in my stories, how when I take my walks, I typically don't listen to anything. I don't have music on. I don't, I have my phone with me, but it's typically in my pocket because I just want to embrace the surroundings. I also do that a lot when I hike the Tumamak Mountain in Tucson. I just want to experience everything around me, take in the sights, the sounds, the smells. That's really important to really get the most out of your activity. If you're bored with what you've been doing, try something different. Again, find something you enjoy and utilize these tips and tricks to make it more exciting and sustainable for you. Appreciate what's around you. Feel inspired. Feel mesmerized by your surroundings. That's going to make whatever activity you're doing much more enjoyable. Find joy in movement. Just like you find joy in your weight loss journey, you find joy in the foods that you eat. Find joy in the movement you're doing as well. As always, I do want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, experiencing awe can increase well-being and life satisfaction. Number two, the more you intentionally look for awe, the more likely you are to notice it in your everyday life. And number three, feelings of awe can make being active more enjoyable and make it more likely that you'll do it. I 100% agree with this. You have to enjoy what you're doing. And even if you don't enjoy it the first time, kind of like the Zumba class, find something about it that you do enjoy so that you can finish that workout and determine whether or not it's something that you want to continue doing. Is it something that you want to implement into your activity? Just really finding awe in life in general can just make us more balanced, more peaceful, and just make us a more happy human 
in general, especially when it comes to exercise. Being happy is a must for us to continue doing it. Let me know down below what are your go-to activities or what are the things that you really find enjoyment and awe in. Let's end with my weigh-in for the week. Last week I actually lost one pound of the 1.4 that I had gained the previous week. I talked a lot about maintenance and maintaining my weight. I actually talked about that as well in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Don't forget to check that out down below if you missed it for updates on my food, updates on Weight Watchers, updates on my goal weight. All of that is in Wednesday's video. I'm really just trying to basically maintain my weight and see what happens with my body as I continue healing from surgery. I'm three months post-op and it takes about six months to see full results. And also what happens with changing up my activity, increasing my activity. How does my body change and respond to that? So I'm kind of in this limbo mode when it comes to my weight and just focus on focusing on maintenance is really where I'm at right now, especially with all of the travel that I have coming up. I have two trips in September, a trip in October and a trip in November, and then it's the holidays, right? It's the part of the year that's the hardest to not only maintain our weight, but not gain weight. Just keep doing what I'm doing, moving my body, choosing good whole food that nourishes my body, drinking my water, taking my supplements that help me with my weight loss and health journey, and just focusing on being a healthy, happy version of myself. So when I stepped on the scale today, I am actually exactly the same weight as I was last week, to the ounce. So technically, I'm still up about 0.4 pounds we don't care about 0.4. To me, that's a weight fluctuation. I consider this a maintenance. I'm really happy with where I am weight wise. If you missed me talking about this in previous videos, maintenance is not a number. Maintenance is a range. And I have given myself a five pound weight range that I want to stay in. Between 185 and 190 pounds is my weight range. I'm at the bottom of that right now, so I'm happy. I'm continuing to lean out my body, turn whatever excess fat I have into lean muscle, and just focus on overall my health goals and my fitness goals so I couldn't be happier with the maintain. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your way in? How was your week? Was it what you expected? And of course, let me know what is your favorite activity. Let us know because there could be an activity that you do that may inspire someone else to try that out and make quick become a favorite for them. So let us know everything down below. And if you enjoyed another weigh in video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because we do this weigh in thing every single Friday. Check out the description box down below for Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day video if you missed it. Nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join my Facebook group. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.